Hey, everybody. Wow, I just realized I have to change that. Hey, B&D Crafts. I have to change that because Aaron Jemison made me a new banner so I can get rid of the old one, which is very, very, very cool. Let me get back. So it looks like Papa Drew was the first one here. Unless I'm looking at it wrong. Let me switch it to live chat. And Papa Drew and then Aaron Jemison is here. That is the Aaron Jemison and B&D Crafts. How's everybody doing? Aaron, I wasn't quite sure what you were trying to say if that was a new language, but interesting, interesting. How is everybody's Monday going? Hopefully well. I got up this morning to lots of birds chirping and I looked outside and here in Florida, um, all the robins migrate to Florida. So all the robins, I probably had hundreds of robins. I took a video, but you know, I don't know how good you can see the robins from far away. Um, but it was really, really cool. There were robins everywhere. Um, and I did, yeah, I did a little, I took a little short. I haven't posted it or anything. I may not, I don't know. I did do an experiment with one of my shorts and reposted it. Um, because they weren't hitting the short shelf and I can't figure out quite why. Oop, I just dropped my water, my bottle lit. Hold on. So when I, I contacted the YouTube support and they said that they weren't sure, but maybe I had to upload it from my phone. I don't know. Hey, Rick Nelson, how are you doing? So I took one that wasn't performing well and thought, well, let me... Put it back on my phone because I had done a little editing. Let me put it on my phone and then let me upload it to the studio from my phone. And let's see how that works. I don't know. It didn't have a ton of views. It didn't have any ad revenue um, other than like one tenth of a cent, I think. Which is like... So let me try that. So I hope everybody's having a good Monday. You had a good weekend. I think most people have a busy week coming up. Hey, burning up the roads. I've got a member in the in the office here or in the van. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, so I think a lot of people are going to have a busy week. We got Thanksgiving coming, um, and then that's kind of the start of like the holiday season. It's like Thanksgiving, then boom, Christmas, then New Year's. It's like one after another. I remember when the kids were little. It was like one thing after another after another. I'm actually a little chilly. Florida is, we've got like beautiful weather right now. It's, I think it's 75 degrees out. The van thermometer says it's 81. I have my fantastic van going. Hey, artist on the road. Um, I got my window open here. You're going to see my hair is going to be getting blown. Um, Hey, Uncle Lisa. Hey, now grandkids are here. That's important. You'll be distracted. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm not sure how many lives I will do this week. I know I'm traveling to my parents, and when I'm there, I don't think I'm going to do a live. I think I just want to focus on some family time. Um, my sister's going to be there. I'm going to see my kids on Friday. I'm going to spend most of the week. At my parents house and then from there I'm gonna go to Jacksonville so North Florida I mean we're hanging out there for a while burn up the roads is trying to get out of bed it's too cozy my goodness I always forget that the time there's you know a difference it's 12 o'clock here I've been out of bed since 6 this morning so I've been out of bed for six hours so crazy Uncle Lisa Burn up the roads. Get up at once, you lazy muppet. There you go. You lazy muppet. Hey, Sheila, how are you doing? So, yeah, my plans today, I'm going over to where I have things in storage. And I'm going to go through that. Kind of come up with a game plan for what's left. Um, some things I'm going to take with me. I'm going to list them on eBay. Um I've got some eBay stuff going right now that seems like it's going to sell. So I think that's a good little option. Let's see what else. I had a great weekend. I spent it with my 
um, sister-in-laws. It was it was one of their birthdays, so they rented a house on a canal that went out into the St. Johns River, and we got on the pontoon boat and we spent the day boating around the canals. We went to Silver Glen Springs, which is absolutely gorgeous. I did a lot of little videos. I don't think I'll post any of them. I posted the one because it was a big, it's a big pontoon boat. And so there was some dancing going on on the boat. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good time. I hope everybody else had a good weekend. Um, I've had a couple of people reach out to me and say they really appreciated the diving into this YouTube studio. So that's something else I'd like to do a little bit more of. Hey, me malls matters. How are you doing? Like, I think I mentioned it in our last video or into my last live. I wanted to, I need to go back and refresh my memory on how to do the subtitles, the closed captioning. So I went in there and I did that this morning. So if that's something you guys would like to see, we could do that. It would just take a few moments. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? It's like everybody's saying hello. Hello, hello, hello. Artists on the road. How was your weekend? Lucretia, how was your weekend? Any luck on the RV yet? I didn't really catch a whole lot of lives. I caught some yesterday, um, but not a whole lot because I was tired. Um, the downside when you're traveling and you're not in your, most of us, van, camper, RV, whatever, and you're sleeping in another bed. I slept on the top bunk the first night, which was just crazy scary because I'm not a kid. And I had visions of smashing the person that was sleeping underneath the bunk. Yeah. And then the second night, that person that was under on the bottom of the bunk, she wasn't there. So I slept on the bottom bunk. So I slept okay then, but I was tired. I mean, we were up late. Um, we were up late Friday night. We were up late Saturday night. So I was just kind of wiped out yesterday. I'm checking out the chat here. It was us. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I mean, I had to edit out the song. I did. I posted a short of the line dancing and um, I had to totally find music on Epidemic Sound that matched like the beat to the to the song that they were dancing to. So I think I did a pretty good. I found a pretty good one and posted it. So it was pretty it was neat, but it's a beautiful area. Um, we pulled up and through anchor at the springs and they got out and and swam around in the spring water which was like 75 degrees it was cold <clears throat> let's see Papa Drew just said I am so happy you updated your car insurance uh, your ex is not gonna be happy wow that's a good price for full coverage that's less than what I pay for my RV month or for the van that's pretty cool how does my towel smell it smells clean now my towel did not smell good. It wasn't because of like, yeah, we won't even go there. Um, yeah, we not going to go there. Burning up the roads until Richard is able to travel with, pull back on shopping. How's he feeling and how are you feeling? I know you said you thought it might have been um, C. diff. And I did have some experience with that gosh it's probably been 10 years um and then being in healthcare, that was always a constant concern for our patients was c diff so i know it's a miserable it's a miserable thing i had been when i had it i was in the hospital on iv antibiotics for um i think it was an infection after i'd had I think it was after I had breast reconstruction for my bilateral mastectomy when I had cancer. Um, and I was supposed to actually be discharged the next morning. And I was just on, because they put you on IV antibiotics, I was on a couple different kinds and I was doing so much better. I was fever free and everything was good. And then that night I started running a fever and just not feeling good. And they wouldn't let me go home because I had a fever. And then the rest of it started. 
And yeah, it was, I ended up in the hospital an extra week for that. And I think once you have it, you're prone to have it again. So I'm always paranoid whenever I have to take antibiotics. I, but I hope, you know, good probiotics, they probably put them on Flagyl. I mean, I think that's the, it might still be the medication they use. But hopefully, hopefully you're both feeling better. Use fabric softener who make the load smell better and softer. I do. I use fabric softener. Actually, um, I hand washed that towel because it was pretty bad. It was being used as a windshield for people trying to light um, tobacco and other products. I will just say like that. Not for me, but for other people on a windy boat. So we were using the towel as a windshield for them. And it wasn't smelling good. So I hand washed it. I'm going to actually do laundry at my mama's house. I don't know the last time I did laundry at my mom's house. So I'm going to my parents to do laundry. Pretty funny. Oh, oh, I, I got a little list. I opened up my Teespring store. Now, granted, there's only a few things in there. Um, I'm going to make some Oscar t-shirts and that kind of stuff. And Papa Drew's laughing. Uncle Lisa's like, oh, no. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I opened up my tea. I think I put the link in the description, possibly. Hey, Happy Place Camp and watch it ads. Happy Place Camp and had an amazing um, monetization party last night. I think they had almost, I think when I looked at it, there were 80 something in there. It may have gotten higher than that. Thank you for watching the ads. Hey, camping therapy. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what everybody else's schedule is going to be like this week. If everybody's lives are going to go on like normal. I think tomorrow I might still be around. In fact, I know I will because I have things coming into the post office box that I have to get. Um, I have to get some stuff today from the post office box. Uh, hold on, Papa Drew. Papa Drew needs help with your Teespring store. <clears throat> I can help you. Well, I don't know if I can really help you because mine looks like a hot mess. Um, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I mean, I designed a couple things and then I added a couple products and then asked me for a description. And I thought, well, I thought that was Teespring's job was to describe what I just made. I don't know. I think it works. I don't know. I, I think you can buy something in there. Did you go look, Papa Drew? Yeah, I got a few things. I did a little logo on a shirt. I did a sticker. I think I did a coffee mug. Um, I did a couple masks. Um, Papa Drew, it looks great. I don't know if you're talking about the, I don't know if you're, if you're talking about the Teespring or if you're talking about my ugly curtains, the ugly curtains are going away. They're going away. I mean, and they're not ugly. They are actually in remarkable shape for a 20 year old curtains. They are in a remarkable shape, but I like a more streamlined, clean look. Oh, the store. Okay, cool. I'm adding it. I'm going to do an Oscar, an Oscar themed line because I know a lot of people like Oscar. Um, <laughs> keep them. They look like something my grandma would have. I still have the ones I pulled down. Give y'all a sneak peek of something. I'm going to redo it because I have to recut them. But I took the curtains down up there and my big windows. And I put this amazing product up there. It's, I can peel it off so they're not stuck there, but it completely takes the light out. And I love those windows, but the, in Florida, the sun coming in here, it just beats you, like beats you. Meemaw's matter is home, but they're going to their sons on Thanksgiving. He lives local to us. Yep. Happy place camp. And I hope y'all were proud of me. I stuck it out. I stayed there the whole time. That was way past my bedtime, but it was good. It was fun. You're, I loved how you did your trivia. That was really, really cool. They did trivia on their channel, about their channel. 
and about them. And it was really cool. Papa Drew is going to go live on Wednesday at one o'clock. Drive to Courtside. Um, and there are some of these curtains I'm keeping in here, but some of them I'm getting rid of. It was past your bedtime too. Papa Drew is talking about his TV dinners. The trivia was really, really fun, Felix. Um, I knew the answers to a lot of them. And then my fat fingers that late at night weren't typing the right answers. Like I had Darby, but I think I spelled it D-R-B-I. I know how to spell Darby. It was pretty funny. So I think I said in the beginning, but I don't know if anybody was here. Um, I think we talked about last time when we were doing like the little dive into the studio about adding closed captioning. So if you're interested in something like that, let me know. And maybe tomorrow when we do my, do my lunchtime live, I'll dedicate maybe 10 to 20 minutes to doing that. We can go in and we can put some closed captioning or subtitles on one of my videos. Cause I'm just now I'm going back and doing it now so I can leave them. Burn up the rose, Lucretia says you are clear of the C. diff and you are clear of COVID. How's the hubs? Roy and Becky can't wake up. You better wake up. Buddy, y'all are y'all are going live after me. B and D Crafts is back. Hello. Papa Drew, what time zone would your live be? Do you know? Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to do a live. I probably will do my live tomorrow unless something comes up. Um, Wednesday, I'll be traveling. Thursday's Thanksgiving. Friday, I'm going to be with my family. And then after that, I'm traveling. So that pretty much takes out the rest of the week. Maybe I'll pop up and do a Saturday one. Or maybe I'll do a traveling one. I'm not sure. Um, Saturday, Sunday... Hey, Justin and Christina, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, or Saturday, Sunday for sure, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to be in Fort Myers. Um, hint, hint, Aaron J Jemison in Fort Myers. Um, hopefully, that's okay. And then everything else is kind of up in the air. Then I think I'm going to be making a long drive. Well, I'll drive back because Oscar's going to probably stay at my parents'. Um, after Thanksgiving, he's going to spend some grandpa, grandma time. And then, hey, weekend RVing. And then I'm going to be heading to North Florida. So I'll spend a night with my parents and then go to North Florida. Cause it's a, it's from Fort Myers to Jacksonville is probably a six and a half, seven hour drive. And I really don't want to do that. I did that already once in this, in the van. I don't want to do that. It's not fun. Papa Drew or anybody, can you drop a link to Papa Drew's channel? We've never, never done a driving video from the RV Live. So you're going to do it from RV Live. Cool. There's my mama. My mama's here. I get to see her this weekend. So Marlon Bellum. Of course, Oscar goes everywhere I go. Oscar does not go without me. Oscar will go spend time with grandma and grandpa every once in a while. So, but Oscar stays with me. He's my baby. He is right at my feet right now. I left, I did leave him in the van. I mean, I do have air conditioning and he has food and water and he's fine. It's like leaving, leaving a cat in a house. I did leave him over the weekend and he was very happy to see me. Am I coming tomorrow? Not tomorrow, probably Wednesday, Mom. It depends. This afternoon, I'm going to the storage building, and I'm going to pull out some things. And um, there's some things in there I need to list on eBay. So depending on how much I can get done, we'll see. Justin, Christina, thank you so much. Mom. I don't know if you can, I'll help you. I want you to look at 
Justin and Christina's RV van life. I want you to check their channel out. They have the same, the same um, van I have, the same road truck I have. All right, so are you guys ready to play a game? Hold on, hold on. There was something I was look. I was scrolling through. Um, that's what I was waiting. I was looking for somebody had asked burning up the roads. Um, how many hours they still needed? And I never saw that answer. My mom's asking if she wants me to color her ha color my hair. If I want her to color my hair. Is it that bad? I think I might leave it. I think I might let it grow out. I don't know. It is so thin that I'm afraid to do any, add any chemicals to it. I'm afraid to do anything that might damage it even more. I don't know. I'll think about it. I don't know. What do y'all think? Should I color it? I mean, it is really literally um, two inches of silver. The lights here look very kind. You can't see it. In real light, you can see it. It's pretty funny. Papa Drew, um, man buds are not a good thing. <laughs> color it purple. I actually thought about coloring it a funky color. My mom is saying go natural. I've been, I, my hair naturally was like an auburn. Growing up, it was auburn. It was like this dark auburn. So I have, if I color my hair, it goes very much to the red. So I think I'm going to go with blue hair. I could really pretty much do anything. But, yeah, I, I, it's like, and right now I have these, like, look at this. I got this funky little curl thing that's coming out. I don't know what that is. I don't have curly hair. But it's wanting to come out. I don't know. It's doing its own thing. Keep it like this. So it looks like the consensus is let it go. Justin and Christine, you look good in a light auburn. That was really my hair color. Well, it was a dark auburn. But it's been all colors. I've had purple hair. I've had pink hair. Not all over, but like streaks. It's, I've been blonde, brunette. I've had super, super short hair. I've had no hair. I've been bald. Um, I've had long to, down mid back. Forever best friend, there are too many redheads. Speaks the redhead herself. Camping therapy going natural is one less thing to worry about on the road. Just turned white from red. It absolutely, you know, that wasn't, that's another thought. And I've actually gone, I've been, I've had gray hair since I was in my teens. I went gray very, very early. My mom says I used to have beautiful curls. When I was a baby, I had lots of curls and then it went straight. Um, Rick Nelson, you turned white from red. Camping theory, mine was red. Now it's blonde and white, naturally so. Hey, Blue Wave, how are you doing? It's good to see you here. Are you, are you on a break? It is awesome to see you, my friend. So who wants to play a game? And then also... Who wants to learn how to do um, closed captioning subtitles on their videos and hit that market? If you're interested in both of those, let me know. Um, I won't do that. I'm probably not going to do the subtitles today. I'll do them tomorrow when I do my live. We'll spend like maybe the first 15, 20 minutes. It won't take long for you to learn it. I'll do a couple and then you can kind of see how you do it and you can do like I did, and I went back and forth, and I watched the video, and then I opened up my studio, and I took it step at a time, and I, it worked out perfect. Uncle Lisa says both, so you want to, okay. Uncle Lisa wants to play a game. I've got those same questions out if y'all want to do those, those really, really kind of eh, borderline. Do you want to do that? 
Rick Nelson, blondes may have more fun, but redheads are the wildest. And you can quote me on that. So what happens if you are, if you are blonde, are you talking natural blonde, natural redhead? And Uncle Lisa wants me to do the, 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 the um, family feud. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to go. Oh, Bob's Adventures here. Another member. Van, 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 Van. Adult, this is P this is not PBS. It is YouTube. Remember, I know. But, you know, there are people that are watching that have children in the room. So I would like to be respectful for everybody. So I think we can still be respectful and still have fun. And not be boring. All right. So let me slide my little thing over. Everybody's saying hello to everybody. And guys, make sure that you can, you're can you connecting with each other. My mods, if you will go ahead and you can post links, that's fine with me. Um, if you want to go ahead and post everybody's links that are in here, I think that's awesome. I think most of us are all connected with each other, but occasionally we get somebody that pops in here or they'll watch a replay. I actually have had people watch the replays. And so they might be, maybe they'll connect with you through that. Absolutely is fine with me. I love you all. I trust everybody. So let me go ahead and I'm going to review real quick just for a couple of people that may not know. Once I open up the screen, you can't see it. It's my screen. It's where all my questions are at. I can't see the video. So if something crazy goes on, type it in the chat because I do have the chat here. Um, Marlon Bellum is my mom. She's in the chat right now. Um, so if you guys want to say hi to my mama, that would be awesome. I will type in the word question, which means I'm getting ready to give you the question. This is like Family Feud. If you've not watched Family Feud, it's the survey says. So they poll 100 people and then whatever's the highest answer is the question is the person that's going to win. So if you win and you have the first one, according to my live chat, then you will get your name on the prize wheel. And then at the end of this, I will spin the prize wheel. Um, or I'll spin the, the participant wheel and then we will spin the prize wheel. So that's how it's going to go. And then I usually give y'all about a minute ish. I don't time it. If I see a lot of answers coming in, then I will go ahead and just stop it. If I've seen the answer like multiple, multiple times, I'll just stop it, but I'll put a little stop sign up. Um, all right, here we go. So here comes, I'm typing in the word question. All right. Fill in, this is a fill in the blank. A woman gives a man a piece of her what? Um, fill in the blank. A woman gives a man a piece of her what? A man gives, a woman gives a man a piece of her what? I see some lots of good answers. I thought this was G-rated. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the answers, Bob, with Blue Wave. <laughs> so... Hey, Juliet the Shih Tzu, how are you doing? A woman gives a man a piece of her what? All right, I am going to throw up my little stop sign. Ah, where's my little stop sign? There it is. I don't feel like digging for the other one. <laughs> you got the one with the hand. All right, the number one answer, and remember, put this on live chat so that way you are going live and you're not on top chat. So up at the top left, at least on mine, it's at the top left, you'll see a little thing that might say top chat. If you click on the little arrow or the little triangle next to it, scroll to live chat, and then that's going to be the chat I go by, just in case you didn't know how to do that. The answer to that is going to be mind. So let's see who mind, who has the first one that said mind. 
And I put the question, I type that in, it makes it easier for me to go back and look. So B and D crafts was the first one that said mind. Congratulations, my friends. Um, the second one, second answer was heart. Then we have pie and then self and then soul. So all oh, y'all gave some good answers. Yeah, Juliet, the shit. So you just, you just got here. That was literally the first question. So you did really, really good. You timed it well, my friend. All right. So here comes the second question. Name a reason a man might suspect he's turning into a beaver. Name a reason a man might suspect he's turning into a beaver. This is a weird one. This is just definitely a weird question, but it's here. And these are actual questions that they've asked. These were on their game. Name a reason a man might suspect he's turning into a beaver. Got some good questions or good answers here. Name a reason a man might suspect he's turning into a beaver. All right, I'm putting up the stop sign here in just a second. Just give it another minute. And I have to like, I, I think I said this last time, this group of questions that I'm going through, there are some questions that I have to be really, really careful not to do because I know you guys would probably take them to the dark side. <laughs> and this is a daytime show. And I know it's YouTube, it's not TV, but I want to be respectful because there's a lot of kids home. And this week, especially, there's going to be a lot of kids home. I think a lot of schools are closed for the holiday. All right, there we go. Maybe one night I will do um, a PG-13 one. <laughs> All right, the number one answer is grows buck teeth. Kids need learning. <laughs> I don't know if they need that kind of learning, Papa Drew. Grows buck teeth. Let's see. Grows buck teeth. Big teeth. Nail court. There we go. Nell's got is my second winner here. Congratulations, Nell. All right. Then the other the other answers are gonna be choose or eats wood, grows a tail. That would be alarming. Builds a dam. Hmm. I think men men could do that anyway. Getting furry. And I think men, as they get older, don't they get furrier? So I think the only alarming thing out of that would be, as an adult, you're growing buck teeth and a tail. Just saying. Those might, those might be your sign that you are turning into a beaver. Papa Drew says he is the dark side. Yes, men do grow hair as they get older in weird places. All right, that one I can't say. Yeah, I can't say that one. <laughs> this one's funny. And I don't, <laughs> those are signs you might need a hospital artist on the road. You're right. <laughs> You're right. All right. So I don't do political. And so let's not make this political. It just happens to have a political person in the question. So let's just have fun with the question. They're years apart, but name something that Justin Bieber has in common with Donald Trump. They're years apart, but name something Justin Bieber has in common with Donald Trump. Now, my mom might not like this one because she doesn't know. Do she probably doesn't know Justin Bieber. They're years apart, but name something that Justin Bieber has in common with Donald Trump. Oh, I got to shift. My back's hurting. All 
Now there's some good answers. They're years apart, but name something Justin Bieber has in common with Donald Trump. Oh, well, I mean, no, do know who Justin Bieber is. Okay. Very cool. There's some good answers. All right. I'm going to put my stop sign up. All right. <laughs> I like Justin and Christina's public embarrassment. <laughs> and Nell says your grandkids said that they are twins. They look the same. <laughs> All right. The number one answer is they're balling or loaded. So they got money. So let's go see who was the first one that put money. Sheila. Yay, Sheila. Congratulations. Let me write you down. The second answer was weird hair. The third one was their ego. The fourth was famous. And the fifth was their dudes. I think that's kind of lame. They're dudes. Well, there's lots of dudes. All right. Mm, let me get my next question. All right, here we go. What was first was, um, oh my gosh, let me go back up to it. They're rich. That was the first one. Money. Hmm. To save time in the, oh, let me do my question. To save time in the morning, name something you might do while in the shower. To save time in the morning, name something you might do while in the shower. To save time in the morning, name something you might do while in the shower. <laughs> Some good questions, good answers coming up here. To save time in the morning, name something you might do while in the shower. To save time in the morning, name something you might do while in the shower. There's some um, odd answers. Invite your Uber. <laughs> Uncle Lisa. Is that, what is that how you do things where you live? <laughs> you invite your Uber to the shower? All right, I'm putting up my little stop sign. All right, we're just putting a stop in there. So the number one is brush your teeth. Let's see who was the first one. B&D, craft some more. Okay, now that's your second one. Congratulations. You know, I think I was an adult before I knew people brushed their teeth in the shower. It's just not anything I ever did. Um, the second one was shave your legs or shave. Um, the third one was pee. That was something else that really grossed me out when I found out people did that in the shower because I never did that. I would get in the shower, have to go and I'd get out of the shower and go. Um, yeah, I think I was married when I discovered that men just pee in the shower and apparently women do too, but I, I never did that. I still don't do that. Um, they skip washing their hair to save time. I do. I, I can agree with that. I don't wash my hair in the shower. 
not in the shower in my van. I don't do it. Um, and meditate. Uncle Lee says you can't trust your Uber until you've shared a shower together. <laughs> I guess that's why I've never called an Uber. Never used Uber. Am I the only one that's never used Uber? I don't know. Apparently, I must be always the Uber. Um... Here we go. Question. Papa Drew, you can pee and brush your teeth and do it all with an Uber or a Lyft driver. No, you cannot. Justin and Christina has used Uber once. Yeah, I've just never done it. All right. Name a place people spend the night and wish for the comforts of home. Happy place, Cape, and thank you for coming by. Have a super day. Name a place people spend the night and wish for the comforts of home. Name a place, place people spend the night and wish for the comforts of home. And I got a notification about Roy and Becky. So it looks like that all they are all set up to go live at one o'clock that we will raid them. So name a place people spend the night and wish for the comforts of home. It's, I can tell you there's some interesting um, answers here. I'd like to know how I'm going to look up how they poll these people. How they how do they do the survey? All right, I'm putting up my stop. So the number one answer was hotel motel. Hotel or motel. So, Papa Drew, you were number one there. The second one was outside, camping, or in a tent. For me, my bed is pretty comfortable. So, a hotel, it would be a hotel, it would be my, my, my camp. Um, the third answer was jail. I don't know. And they even said jail with Jim Bob. Airport or a relative's home. I think anytime you're away from your own bed, cruise ship, yeah. I think anytime you're away from your own bed, you can't wait to get home to your own bed. And whether your own bed is in an RV, a van, a camper, a house, an apartment, it doesn't matter. It's your bed. It's what you're used to. I remember going on a cruise ship before, though, and the beds were not good. I couldn't wait to get in my own bed. Sheila says she sleeps best in the camper. Yeah. Um, here we go. Here's a question for you. We only got a few more we'll be doing, and then it'll be time to stop. Name something snakes do that people don't. Name something that snakes do that people don't. Papa Drew wants to go on a cruise ship. Cruises are fun. Definitely fun. Name something snakes do that people don't. This shouldn't be a hard one. Name something that snakes do that people don't. Snake school. <laughs> Bob, you never give me a serious answer. It's all good, though. <laughs> Papa Drew says, oh, I like, oh, like Sherry She Shed. This is my She Shed. All right, I'm putting my stop sign up here. All right. So the number one answer was Slither. So let's see who was the first one to put Slither. 
That would be Papa Drew. So Papa Drew has two. B and D Crafts has two. Nell Court has one, and Sheila has one. Um, the other answers were Hiss, Eat Animal Whole, Shed Your Entire Skin, or Bite with Venom. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. RV Underway, sorry you're late. You're watching Puppy Dogs on Howling Wheels Adventure. Oh, Puppy Dogs always went out. It's okay. Um, it, but it's good to see you. I'm happy you're here. Um, guys, RV Underway, I know needs some watch time. If anybody has some time to spare or a TV or um, a computer that they can just turn on and put in the back. And what I used to do for people is I would put it on my laptop, make sure the audio is on. I'd hook my headphones to it and I'd have it playing. And that way I wasn't even listening to it. My headphones were there right next to my laptop. So just an idea. But RV Underway needs some watch time. I think Burning Up the Roads needs some watch time. I think there's um, another one. Oh my gosh. And I just pulled them up to, to put them in my queue. I can't remember who they are, but Papa Drew, I'm sorry that that's what your wife was like. That's not nice. Trubo Duo, that, thank you. There was also, it's an another RV one, but Trubo Duo is another, it's a, an amazing channel. Um, my gosh, so much talent. And you will you would probably not want to put that on mute. You'd probably want to play it and just listen to them because they are they are that good. All right, here comes my question. Mm. Name a blood sucking creature that looks at a nudist like they're a buffet. Oh, I didn't read that question all the way. Name a blood sucking creature that looks at a nudist like they're a buffet. And honestly, I could take the nudist part out. Name a blood sucking creature that looks at anybody like they're a buffet, like a person. Hey, artists on the road. It's good to see you again. I like Sheila's answer, Papa Drew. <laughs> Y'all are all so much fun. Name a blood sucking creature that looks at a nudist like they're a buffet. Probably have time to do one more after this. Though I've gotten better at the wheel. It doesn't take me as long anymore. Artists on the roads, listening and work lurking. I figured you were, because I saw you in here earlier. <laughs> RV underway. Dang, I was going to say Papa Drew's RV. <laughs> All right, I'm putting up the stop sign. It's okay now if you can't spell it. I know we, I'm not going by spelling. All right, my stop sign is up. Papa Drew just wants to go to town. Y'all know what he's talking about when he's talking about going to town. Um, so the number one answer is mosquito. And the first person that says mosquito is going to be Lucky Dog production moderator, Sue. Lucky Dog Sue. The second one was vampire. The third one was leech. The fourth one was Bat, the fifth one was Tick, and the sixth one was Papa Drew. On to the next question. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, some of these I can't do. Mm. All right, here we go. 
Name something you wouldn't want an elephant to do to you. Keep it clean. <laughs> Name something you wouldn't want an elephant to do to you. <laughs> Papa Drew, why does my name come up so, so much? I am a white knight. <laughs> Papa Drew, you know, we all joke with you because we all just care about you. And you are such a good friend to everybody. Name something you wouldn't want an elephant to do to you. Everyone poops. Hey, I think I have a video that talks about pooping. Name something you wouldn't want an elephant to do to you. Name something you wouldn't want an elephant to do to you. I think I might have, I think my mom might have left. Probably thought this is just too much. Too crazy. All right, I'm going to put my little stop sign up there. Oh, that's a good one now, cord hug. An elephant hug might hurt. All right, stop sign is up. So the number one answer was to step on or to trample me. Oh, Papa Drew. My mom is so appreciative of all of you guys and how much help you've, you've been and what great friends you are. She hears me talking about you guys all the time. So I'm happy when she pops into these so she can actually see what wonderful people you are. She already knows it. So the number one answer was step on or trample me. And I'm not going to take sit on me because that was actually another answer given. So did somebody say step on? Papa Drew said step on me. So Papa Drew, you have three now. So it was step on or trample me. That was the first one. And then sit on me. Spray or sneeze on me. Pee or dump on me. So, yep, everybody pees and everybody poops. And the last one is we're not going to go there. <laughs> we're not going there mate with me there you go papa drew so there it is <laughs> that would really suck all right you guys chit chat go ahead and if you have videos that you are posting that had just came out maybe over the weekend or they're already posted but they're not going to go up until maybe the, later on the week go ahead and post links in here if you've got a live stream, put down the, the time of your live stream, whatever day you're going to do. Um, if you've got any changes to your weekly schedule, let's say you normally live streamed on Thursday, but you're not going to be able to because of the holiday, go ahead and put that in here and I will pass it along. Also, another question is, is anybody getting visible and needing a person for the party plan? I do not, but I know there is somebody else that um let me juliet i just fixed that for you um i know somebody who is getting visible and they need they want to do the party plan but they need people so if you are getting visible have visible need people for the party plan let me know um so that i can go ahead and let this person know so juliet you should have you should be wrenched now all right, let me go ahead. I'm going to run. And also, I want Roy and Becky's link in there for their live coming up. Um, I was going to put my ticker in there for my... I have to update all of that. My email address um, so if anybody is thinking about it, 
There is my email address. Oh, I just kicked Oscar accidentally. Let me go ahead and I'm going to open up my, my wheel, the wheel. Um, burning up the roads. Are you still in here? Let's see here. Cause I need to know if you want me to leave your, um, somebody won your gift card and I know if you want to leave it in there. Let me go ahead and I'll share my screen. There's that. We're just going to do that. Let me go here and start adding some names. I think I'm actually going to do another. You're still here at the very end. I might throw in a little surprise wheel spin. Just because I now have. Oh, helps if I spell, na spell names right. Because now I have the store open. The swag. Papa Drew. That's what I should have done with B&D crafts. Copy and paste it. Lucky dog. Sue. All right. Does that look like I have everybody on there? So tomorrow's live, I will go over... Um, I'll talk about what can, we can do a little bit about how to do closed captioning and then we'll play the game. How does that sound? All right. Are we ready to spin? Let's see who won. Hey, POA. Papa Drew. All right, Papa Drew. Let's see. Let's see what Papa Drew won. He had pretty good chance of winning there. Let's see. Prize wheel. Mm. Yay, Papa Drew. All right, I think I'm going to, I think everything up there is good. Um... Yep, that looks good. I need to change my thing here. So we have $5 PayPal Amazon from me. A channel review by Papa Drew's RVers Live. He did one last night um, on Texas Family Camping. That was really, really good. And then he did a dive into the studio. So that was really, really good to go back if you want to look. Um, it came out really well. A custom mining painting by me. A mug from Roy and Becky's Travels, which we're going to raid in a minute. A mug from me. Did I say that? I feel like I'm duplicating myself. A $10 Starbucks gift card from Vanderell and Johnny's Journey. Nobody's won that one yet. An ATC, an ATC from Nell Court, which is like a little trading card, little art trading card. Really, really cute um, from Nell. So let's go ahead and spin and see what Papa Drew won. Papa Drew, if you land on your own, we will spin again. All right. 
Now, do you want me to leave that up there or I can take that off? Let me know. No rush. So you want, I will get y'all in contact with each other. You're right here. Let me write the little note so I know what it was. Oh, lucky dogs. Sherry got my, got the awesome gifts that you sent me. I love them. The paintings are beautiful and the painting and the square frame is awesome. Thank you so much. You're a fantastic artist. Thank you. You're going to make me cry. I'm glad you got them nice and safe. It is now 101. We have run over. So let's head over to um, Roy and Becky. Let's go see them. Let them know they've got a fantastic grade. I love you all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all you do. You brighten my day. I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Um, remember, we have so much to be thankful for. Um, for me, I'm thankful for my family and my friends. And you are definitely my friends. So thank you. And have a great day.